What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Gary. What's going on, Mike? Mike Smithy in the Lawrence Joel Coliseum. <laughs> We're at the LJVM Coliseum, lower level behind you. Oh, right behind the bench, bro. There. <laughs> Let's go, Hills. Got to have their best tonight to beat uh, this tough and gritty Wake Forest team. Let's go. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, Mike. As always, Eugene, what's going on? Yes, sir. Let's go, Hills. All right. We start off with this matchup predictor. And as Smitty, Smitty said, we are definitely going to have to play our best game. Even the matchup predictor is not giving North Carolina a chance to win this one. Well, we do have a chance, but as you can see, Wake Forest 56%, um, UNC 43.6%. So overwhelmingly going to Wake Forest. Uh, their key player there is Williams, 20, 20 points per game, you know. Uh, he does everything he gets buckets he rebounds he uh, has the most assists and as you can see ours Baycock and uh, RJ Davis so we are gonna have to have a a good game out of all these guys all our guys loves gonna need to have a good game uh, Baycock and I said this earlier today oh by the way thanks for all you guys who uh, tuned in earlier today uh, to watch the Duke Syracuse game as you know Duke handles Syracuse pretty easily but if everybody's gonna start a uh, uh, double team in Baycock he's just got to get the ball out of that uh, double team quickly and find the open guy and the open guys gotta be ready to, to uh, knock that shot now that's the only way we're gonna be able to stop people from double teaming Baycock because everybody knows one-on-one -on -one, nobody can stop him. I mean like, I, I just don't see anybody shutting Baycock down once he gets down low. He's a he's a force down there. So uh, that's what I'm seeing for this game. I I, I guarantee you they're gonna double team uh, Baycock at some point. If they don't, they're crazy. If they uh and if they don't, Baycock is gonna score get his baskets. But we gotta have some outside shooting. Uh the outside shooting last game wasn't great. Uh we got you know, we play well when all of our guards shoot well. Uh, Manic shot at a decent clip the last game, but I don't think Love was uh, shooting as good as he shoots. Davis didn't shoot as well as he shoots. I say tonight it's time for Cur it's time for Williams to come out, and when he comes on the floor, when he gets his his chances to just knock him down. Um, uh, who else am I missing? Oh, Garcia. It's time for Garcia to come out. He, you know, he was out for that uh, concussion for a while. Hadn't been his his same the same Garcia since he got back. So this is the third game. He's looking to have some 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 big minutes out of him. Other than that, guys, let's go. Mike Smitty in the house. <laughs> Right now we're at the tail end of Pitt Clemson and uh, Clemson uh, took Pitt, I mean easily, 48 to 75. Yeah, kind of kind of funny there, not funny, but it's just interesting how this ACC race may end up this year because if I'm not mistaken, Syracuse just beat Clemson pretty pretty decently if that's the word uh, pretty easily alright so here we are still got two minutes and 27 seconds they say on the uh, on the television there before things get get started but uh you know already thank you guys for uh, showing up 
the two viewers. Thank you for being here. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And we'll be on real soon. Yeah, they just have to one play through him. He's been the guy for them all season. But they just need to stay together. When things get tough, when things get rough, they need to come together as a team. Don't separate. If they can do that tonight, and obviously if they can play defense, you know, that will be a big key. But they just need to stay together th during this time. Well, we know Wake Forest is going to come out unscared in this one. This is a Wake Forest team that hunts the three. They like to play fast, get up and down. They got a dynamic pieces. For Carolina, establish Armando Bacon. I mean, you have to say, this is our guy. Who do you have to stop him? Defensively, Carolina needs to come out with an edge. They need to show energy. The start of this game is as important as it comes to Carolina. Well, we will see how it goes, and we'll be back with you here at the hat right now. We will send you out that to that game. There's Jay Alter and Malcolm Huckabee on the call, and we will see you back here with a very happy Jordan Cornette, who maybe, I don't know, will sell it down by that time. Tiger, we'll see. Tiger. We're happy that he's still with us. We'll see you here at the hat. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Zero zero nineteen thirty one on the clock. Davis going to the basket, throws it up. <clears throat> Manic with the rebound, puts it back, and it goes in. Let's go, let's go. Manic with the fall away misses. Wait for it, gets it down the court, turns it over. Davis with the ball. Scores two to zero. Manic backing down the smaller guy. Baycock gets his mitts on it, throws it up. He's fouled on the play. Gotta have it tonight, guys. Gotta have it tonight. Really 
Armando on the free throw line. Oh, let's go, man. He's got this next one. Let's go. Positivity all night tonight. <clears throat> Positivity all night tonight. Mike Smitty, get up, bro. Stand up, get them boys going. Mondo misses both of them. Rebound. Wake Forest. Number four, Williamson with the ball for Wake Forest. And Williams. Now we get a long outside three point shot. That was by number 13, Walton. Love gets it down to Baycock. No double team here. Baycock, short jump read, misses it. Still 2-2. Two to two. The game just started. Williamson gets to the basket. Can't, can't score. Leaky Black on the left side. Back to Manic. Manic pulls a three. Good. Balls at the top of the key, number zero. LaRavia with the two point basket. <clears throat> Love basically hands that off to Davis. Davis in the middle of the court. Gets it to Baycock. Still not being double teamed. Love thought about a three, now get it back to Baycock. Spin move. Go up, big man. Sorry, Walton. Walton's getting his hands on all kinds of rebounds. Not Walton. He looks like Bill Walton. Manic getting his hands on a lot of rebounds, offensive rebounds there. LaRavia doing a, putting on the dribbling show. Has Manic up in the air. Ooh. Nice little move by LaRavia. Seven to six. Tar Heels. Love hadn't gotten in on the offense yet. That's all right. Let it come to you, babe. Davis. Skip past the Manic. Manic quick three. Off the mark. Leaky Black comes in. Gets his hands on it. Nice little dish pass. Still fighting for it on the basket. Wake Forest comes out of there with it. <clears throat> Good defense. Way to, way to close out. Long three. Woo. Alanis Williams, that's their man right there. We're going to have to put the clamps on him. Love shoots it, misses. Baycock with the strong rebound. He's fouled on the play. And that's that's one thing we're going to have to do. <clears throat> They're not going to double team him. And uh, Baycock has a nice position. Go ahead and go up strong. Because those boys, even though Wake Forest has improved, they still got some youngsters out there. I think they're going to go for blocks and uh, they can get in foul trouble. All right, got our first time out. Everybody in the house, thank you for showing up. Doesn't matter if you're cheering for the uh, Tar Heels. I am, as you can see right here. Did wear my UNC shirt today. Got my, my Aggie pride going on. Still North Carolina A&T State University. We're North Carolina A at everything over here. But yeah, guys, thanks for showing up. Make sure you hit that like button. And let's get these. Let's get this win tonight. Starting off pretty good. For the guys on the floor right now, Manic. Seven points for the Tar Heels. And let's look at the full box scores. See what we got going on here. See what's really going on. Manic, seven points. Manic has all the points for, uh, for the Tar Heels. Uh, four rebounds. One still, and you got to believe uh, others are going to start stepping up too. So, man, it keep us in it, baby, till everybody else wakes up offensively. Uh, Williams, 
for Wake Forest has five points and Laravia has four points. And those are the facts right there, ladies and gentlemen. We could quickly look at the stat of the team stats right here, but you know, this it's early. Whew. Man, look at that field that field goal percentage right there. <laughs> Carolina twenty three, Wake Forest seven I mean fifty seven, but it's early in the game. Both teams have hit one three pointer. Uh, turnovers. Carolina doesn't have any yet. And rebounds. Carolina has four more than Wake Forest. All right, but this is at the beginning of the game. We'll visit this later. Joe Coliseum. Player. They caught hits his first. Olandas Williams. I want to call him Adonis Williams. Olandas Williams. All right. Baycott, after missing his first two free throws, he hits his second two. So now he is the second player on the boards for Carolina. Number four, Davis. Guarding number four, Williamson. Oh, nice little pass down low. And the ref calls a late foul. <clears throat> Comet Boy, what's up? Yeah, bro, I, 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 I saw the basically the second half of that game, man. Tough loss. Tough loss. Because uh, y'all's defense played a heck of a game. Three miss by Williams. Love brings the ball down, gets it to Baycock at the top of the key, almost a turnover, gets it back to Love, he's on the left hand side, Love spin move, gets it down to Baycock, layup is good, that's who needs to be guarding uh, Williams, if he hadn't been guarding, Williams gives that off to LaRavia, spin move, Took extra steps, weren't called, kicks it out, air ball shot, Davis with the rebound, dribbling with his head up like a good guard does, Manic back to Davis, kicks it to Manic, wide open three, turns it down, he drives, finger roll, Baycock tips it, grab that Baycock, grab it, go up strong baby, Laravia, too much dribbling for a big man, Leaky Black has it, Leaky Black, oh! He's blocked. I'm just getting ready to say, Leaky doesn't usually look for his uh, offense. Lonis Williams blocks it. He still has the ball in his hand. A little chirping going on down there on the court. Here you go, Leaky. Get in there, baby. We need you to get like like aggressive today. Get a little edge about you. Lock Williams down. Yeah, Connor boy, that that was a tough loss, man. Like like I was saying, your defense they played a heck of a game. What, what was it? Ten sacks? I was waiting for those the commentators to say this is some kind of playoff record for the number of sacks. Moravia, his name was not on the scouting report, and he is doing damage to the heels down low. Love with the ball on the right side of the court. They get it to Manic. Skip past the Davis. Davis drives, throws up a sort of a wild one. Rebound. Puff Johnson in the game early. Love. Too much dribbling if you ask me, but he gets to the basket, throws it in. That's one of those, that's one of those ho 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 good shot. Williams is gonna go to the front of the rim. He does. No one stopped him. He finger rolls that one in. 
Score is 13-13. Love loses the ball. They are lackadaisical with it. Moravia is like, hey, we are winning this game tonight because he is doing he is doing his thing. As the commentator said, he is feasting right now. Davis, ah, why don't you take a little short jumper right there, Dave? The ball is deflected out of bounds. Still Carolina ball. <clears throat> Look at Laravia like you can't you can't hold me. That's exactly what he said. You can't hold me. Let's go, baby. David tried to get that down to Garcia just coming into the game. It was stolen by Laravia. Loose ball gathered by Wake Forest. This is that young kid that uh, came to Wake Forest. He was basically still in high school. Laravia. Long three. Can somebody get on that man? 13 18. Not really our offense right now, it's our defense. Got to shut down their main guys. There you go, Davis. Pull up. There you go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Pull Pull up. <coughs> Take what they give you. Don't force it. It's all right. <clears throat> Gio Hunter, what's going on? The score is... Hang on. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, come on now. Not going to do me like that. There you go. The score is 13 to 18. My bad. I'm have to keep a check on my uh, game cast. Seems like it's a little bit behind at times. But yeah, the score is 13-18. Uh, Carolina just scored. And I think Davis was fouled. What? Well, excuse me. There's another update. 15-18. Davis was just fouled. So I think he's get, he gets a free throw uh, for that one. After the timeout. Play you guys a little music here. All right, so Baycock uh, has scored four points since the last time I we checked this. Manic has seven. Manic had our first seven points. As a matter of fact, R.J. Davis has two. Love has two. Um, and that's it. We've seen a early entrance into the game by Puff Johnson for Wake Forest. Laravia. Leading scorer um, in that man-to-man. -man. He's just whoever's on him. He's just taking him to the basket, basically. He also hit a three-point basket. Uh, Williams has seven points, and those are the only two guys that are scoring for Wake Forest right now. Yeah, what's going on with yourself, man? I'm just, you know, I'm trying to trying to cheer my boys on, trying to get this win. Let's go, let's go, trying to get this win tonight. Uh my uh my Hornets won last night, guys. They took out um uh oh my gosh, what is that team? The Thunder. Took out the Thunder. But, and I know some people are saying, well, so they should have won that game. Of course, they should have won that game. But, that's something we don't do a lot of. Sometimes we, we play we play well with these the teams we're supposed to beat. And then the team that, I mean, the teams that we're not supposed to beat, basically. You know, up until this year, we're, we're playing pretty good basketball. But then the teams we're supposed to beat, we don't beat them. But, 
I think things are turning around here uh, uh, for the Hornets, you know, making the playoffs and not having to play that play-in game will be a big improvement. So, we're back. And Davis did get a free throw. He hit the free throw. So now the score should be 16-18. LaRavia thought about the three, but he has Leaky Black on him. Leaky Black, pretty good defense right there. Carolina finally corrals the rebound. And there's a turnover. Ooh, off to the races, and Leaky Black's gonna have gonna make um make the young man number thirty. Gonna make him earn it from the free throw line. Yeah, we gotta cut. We gotta cut that out, bro. We have got to cut out the turnovers. Right now, I think I think it's two turnovers. Oh, get out of there, ball! Monsanto, he's number thirty. He's one guy I didn't have down here. Nine, uh, nineteen sixteen Wake Forest, twenty to sixteen Wake Forest, four point lead. Davis brings the ball up for Carolina. Screen set up top. Crosses over. Gets that to McCoy. McCoy back to Davis. Still at the top of the key. They get it to Love. I think this play was set up for Love. Love skip passes it. Puff Johnson gets the rebound and he lays it in. Good job, Puff. Ten minutes, 42 seconds left. 18 to 20. Williams with the ball at the top of the key. Look, he's got some swagger about him. Ooh. Monsanto takes a step back three. That's off the mark. Davis brings it down to the right side of the court. He drives in. Almost turns it over. We got to move the ball, baby. Let's go. Kick that back out. Got to kick that back out, baby. Williams. He wants to go to the length of the court. He does, and he's five on the play. Let's go, baby. We gotta, we gotta lock him down on defense, man. He, and but now, not to take anything away from him, he is good. He's like the leading scorer in the uh, ACC, maybe even in the. Uh, I'm not even gonna go as far as to say in the in the uh, in the association, but he is one of the top scorers. Twenty points per game. Man. So what I was gonna say is we're gonna have to, we got we gotta put the clamps on them. But who's gonna do it? Leaky Black not playing bad on him, but we can't let him go the length of the court. Gotta get the ball out of his hand. One area, Jay, for they need to tighten up defensive Alright, looks like my uh, looks like my game cast is behind a little bit, guys. There it is. I'm gonna have to keep clicking back and forth. <laughs> 18-21 is the score. Davis, ball in the center of the court. Another almost turnover, but it's a foul called on number 20, I think it is. S-Y, is that Cy? Or C. I think it's C. Chaz, what's going on? I hate Chaz. Played a few uh, 1v1s. Davis. Crossover dribble. Three is good. Score is now 21 21. It is tied. Laravia with the ball on the little right side of the court. Gets that down to C, I think it is. He turns. Misses the layup. Davis brings it down on the right side of the court. Crossover dribble. Step back. Gets it to Baycock. There you go, Baycock. Pass it out. Wide open three. 
Garcia misses it. Baycott gets it. Gets it down to uh, McCoy, who was fouled on the play. That is good ball movement. That is good ball movement. Good ball movement, good rebounding. Nine minutes and 13 seconds left. At this point right now, Carolina, if Carolina can minimize LaRavia and uh, Williams, defensively they got a shot. We seem to be, offense seems to be working pretty good right now. You know, still got to get love involved. A week from today, we'll have a quadruple header for you. Next Saturday, right here on the ACC Network. Love's not forcing it, though. Ooh, next week. Next week. Rivalry game. Probably the best, the biggest rivalry that North Carolina has, other than Duke, will be NC State. Oh, get that out of there. Good job. Way Forest hadn't had a guy like Williams in a while. Like he is like extremely confident. Oh, uh, Chaz, that's just a uh, it's a widget. It's a uh, All right, there is a foul called on Wake Forest number four. Uh, that's Williamson. He's going through to the line. That that right there is just the uh, viewer count, uh, Chaz. Yeah, I'm I'm learning how to learn how to do little widgets and, and things. I got a uh, I got one widget here now, but you won't ever be able to see it until oh, there is my chat box. You won't be able to see it until somebody somebody uh, subscribes. When somebody subscribes to my channel, then my little uh, my widget will uh, will play. Let me see if I can get it to work. Yeah, right there. But G Daddy Media, that's me. So you know that <laughs> that one doesn't count. Let's see if I can move this chat box down. There we go. I'm gonna have to change the colors later. Still learning this thing. All right, guys. 23, 23, eight minutes and 36 seconds left before halftime. Davis gets that over the. Garcia shoots a three. Garcia's three-point shooting is not working well since he went out a few games ago for injury. Carolina does get their hands on a ball that was rebounded by um, Wake Forest. But I think it was a jump ball, and it goes to Wake Forest. Armando Baycott has not touched the ball. And again, you don't mind if you're taking threes off of dribble drives and kickouts. Uh, after you get Baycott involved down low in the offense, but uh, a little I'm full court pressure. They get it over here. It's Santos, is what I'm gonna call him. Monsanto. Arabia, standing in the lane. They get it to number one. That's Musius. Number four now dribbling the ball. Williamson being guarded by Davis. And he puts it in, but it may have been a travel that wasn't called. Seven minutes, 56 seconds left on the clock. Garcia with the ball beyond the three-point line on the right side. He backs his man down. He swings it. I think that is done. Oh, in and out. And I may be saying the wrong name there. I'll get that right for Carolina. It's number 11. Guarding his man pretty well. That was Musius. Long three by Monsanto's rebound Carolina. Monsanto's. Davis has the ball on the left side again. Crossover dribble. Kicks it. Another shot. Ooh. 
That is done. LaRavia swings that ball to Musius. They get it over to Williamson. And he hits a three. Might be the biggest lead for Wake Forest. The actual score is 23-28. Baycott with the ball down low. He's been double teamed. Got to find an open man. He finds Garcia under the basket. He was too far under the basket. They almost threw it away. That was Wake Forest, but they corralled it. Musius gets the ball, throws it to Monsanto's long three off the mark. Carolina rebounds it. I think Wake Forest could get themselves in trouble if this is how they play because they are not taking their time. Oh, come on, ref. Really? Offensive foul called on Baycock. <laughs> Well, you hear it. 7 nothing run for Wake Forest. Five-point lead. There's your actual score right there. We have a timeout on the floor. This is shaping up to be a good one. see how many other guys have scored for Wake Forest guys hey I'm I am a heavy North Carolina fan over here have been ever since I was uh, 11 or 12 years old all right let's see um, LaRavia has 11 points Williams has eight Williams son has seven and Monsanto has two points but he is he's shooting threes like crazy he's 0 for 3 and this is what I'm saying it look I don't I don't know how uh, young some of these guys are but they are playing like off emotion right I mean where they could move the ball a couple more times and get a better shot so it looks like they're taking some um, quick shots at times and as the game gets uh, closer to the end, that could end up hurting them if they're not hitting the shot. If they're not hitting the shot. They, they, uh, I just get a sense that, I get a sense that Wake Forest will force shots when they don't need to take shots. You know, I could see them coming down to the end of the game and uh, having a lead with 25 seconds on the clock, having a four point lead and then one of those young guys has a wide open three and just takes it, uh, takes it with uh, about 15 seconds left on the clock when they could run the timeout. But that's just me talking. Comet boy, it was nine. Oh, nine, nine sacks. <clears throat> Now, I know you like to keep up with that with that information, but was that a that had to be a, a that might have been some kind of team record for uh, for sacks given up for uh, for the Titans, or was that a was, was that a a uh, playoff record sack you know performance by Titans nine that that's a lot of dang sacks man, but uh, yeah, you're, you're, the Titans defense played great and you know just the three interceptions the you know some of the turnovers that that I think that just did you guys in but um yeah man kind of kind of ah, it is it's bad to think you do all that work and then one game kicks you out now you got to wait till next year but that's how it is I'm definitely not picking at anybody because my uh, my Panthers <laughs> have been out for a while Laravia is just doing us dirty, man. Just backing us down. 
I like his ball handling for a, a guy his size. The score is 23 to 30. Love gets it to Garcia, and Garcia gets to the basket. And Wade Forrest takes it out quickly. Ravia throws that one up, gets his own rebound. He's on the floor, scramble. Oh, boy, you can't, you, you, you hate that. You got to hate that. He gets that in the marsh. Wade Forrest got two huge guys on the court. Oh, come on, Garcia. You got to hit that if you're going to shoot it, baby. Oh, oh my gosh, what are we doing? Come on now. Yeah, Garcia got to real. I mean, I, that's that's part of his game, you know. But Garcia got to realize he hadn't been on for uh, for a few weeks. He hadn't been on since he's been back, man. Don't force those threes. Swing to somebody who's uh who's hitting the three. Heck, he's big as he's big as crap. Get out, get on low. Go to the basket, Garcia. Shoot. Do exactly what uh, LaRavia is doing. One on one and one, and that was LaRavia. Score is 25-32. Wake Forest. Love hands it off to McCoy, who's in the game here on the right side. And Walton's in there. Walton shoots, misses. It's tipped back out to Walton. He's another three off again. Ah, uh, Carolina State. What a hustle. Time out. You know what? Win or lose, just, hey, play hard, baby. Play hard. Troy Whitfield, what's up? Whitfield in the house tonight, what's going on? Another timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we got we got some hustle going on, man. We got some hustle going on, so you know. If if we lose because Wake Forest is just better, I, okay. But you know, just so we ain't like not putting the hustle in. Bad body language, can't have that. I think uh, that's why Coach might have taken Love out there for a minute uh, earlier. Uh, but I think he's back in there now. Um, yeah, man, look. Right now, defense is just going to have to turn into offense. So Coach is going to have to get, get those boys to trust in the defense, aggressive defense, make Wake Forest – Turn it over and then we get easy passes, easy, easy uh, baskets off that. That's that's what I see for right now. Troy, what's up? Well, I'm watching the Nam Sam's basketball game this money. Yeah, hey, uh, if if we go to school, I'll be there at that game. That uh, I think that's going to end up uh, Comic Boy being our last game. Technically, after that, you're supposed to have a uh, a playoff game, uh, but because of the snow, because of COVID, whatever, you know, we may not. I, I hope we do, uh, because uh, the 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 girls' team, what that I'm hoping I'm helping the coach finally got my uh, okay, helping the coach. Um, those girls have improved. You know, going from a, a a team that didn't know anything about basketball to what those coaches have done to help those girls, uh, I'd just like to see them display what they've learned in these next couple of games. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be at that game, Common Boy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to get a subscriber so my uh, <laughs> so my widget, my subscriber, new subscriber widget will work. Hey, hey, but I don't want any subscribers just gonna click it so my widget will work and then 
and then renege on the uh, subscription. Ready to get them true. I got I got 50 more push-ups to do. I had already done that uh, video. I was gonna put that video out because I went from uh, 550 to 600 uh, subscribers, and uh, every time I get 50 subscribers, I do 50 push-ups. But uh, the video I shot was terrible, and my muscles are killing me. Good shot, Manic from three. He hits it. And so I have to wait for my muscles to stop being sore so I can redo that video. All right, Troy, Hills need a point guard. Love and RJ are good players, but they're not true point guards. Yeah, there ain't no Kobe White. You right about that, Troy? Look, I said I said the other day, the other thing we, uh, we need to recruit, I mean really recruit because we get athletes that are good players and they're scorers, but, man, we need – we need, somebody needs to go recruit a shooter, a pure shooter. Somebody is going to come out consistently from the outside and knock down shots. Even if you don't play, even if you don't play the guy all the time, you know, we need some baskets. We know we can come off the bench, take him off the bench, run, run some uh, off screen plays for him. And when he gets, when he puts it up, it's going in. All right, rebound by McCoy. The score is 28-35 with four minutes and seven seconds on the clock. Love brings it down. Gets it to McCoy. McCoy, Puff Johnson getting playing time today. Looking at Manic. Manic's not quite open. He gets it back to Love. Now I guess Love's going to have to do it himself now. He gets into the lane. And off the mark just a bit. Williams with the ball. He sees Manic. Euro step kicks it over to the corner, and Williamson drains it. Biggest lead right there, ten point lead by Wake Forest. Manic with the ball at the top of the key gets it to Love. Love shoots the three. He's off the mark. But that's the type of guy Love is, man. He's just like uh, I don't know. I would move the ball a couple more times, but and then Williams comes down and hits another three. Wake Forest feeling themselves 28-41. Three minutes left. I was hoping Carolina would not let this game get away from them before halftime. They get it down to Manic. Manic has the uh, the lane there and he lays it up. Stops some of the bleeding. Wake Forest takes off quickly. Gets the ball to Musius on the right side. He drives on McCoy. Shoots over McCoy. Could have been an over the back call on the rebound. But he misses that, and McCoy gets the rebound and gives it to Love. We definitely don't have a true point guard out, out there now. Love, I thought Love was going to uh, do a, have a little man on one-on-one. -on -one. Get it with the Manic. He was open. Now back to Love with nine seconds on the clock. Now he's going to have to do it himself. So wait for the screen. Yeah, he's got to shoot it now. And Love is fouled by LaRavia. Man, we get bogged down sometimes. And Jay, right here, this is unselfish. Yeah, it was. It was pretty unselfish. Nice little Euro step kick out there to William's son. And then he comes down and shoots the three. You know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm happy for Wake Forest that they got a, a finally got a, a good team. But like I said, they got to take the L when they play Carolina. I'm not cheering for them, but I see good, good basketball is good basketball. And they hadn't had a guy like uh, Williams in a while, man. Like he got, he's got like serious swag and confidence, and it's like contagious. Ten point lead with two minutes and sixteen seconds on the clock. And Carolina gets it down to nine, so we are still in it. Are still in this one. Wake Forest had a little run there. Exactly, the commentator. Oh, Williams is, Williamson is feeling it, or he was thinking he was feeling it. Love has the ball. Coach says, run this play. Another turnover by Love. 
Too easy, man. Too easy. Let's go. Somebody stop the ball. Yeah, Lamas Williams with the layup. That was good, but LaRavia started that one, man. How tall is LaRavia? Dang, he's like, what? Six? Six, eight? Six, ten? Or maybe, maybe LaRavia just looks bigger than he is. One minute, 51 seconds left. The score is 32-43. Wake Forest. My bad, guys. There it is, 32, actually 32-44 a minute. They get it to Love at the top of the key. Go ahead and get it out of your hand now, Love. Don't force it. Let's go. Move the ball. Kick. Kick that, Love. Dang it. Let's go. Puff in the corner by itself. Man, with the rebound, he is mud under the basket. Let's go, Love. Get some love to your boy. You got to swing that one more time. Get on him, Puff. Talk to him. Hey, bro, I was open. Swing it. Swing it. Get, get the guy. Let the guy with the open shot take the shot. If he misses it, okay. But that's a better shot than a shot that's contested. Go ahead and swing it. Manic on the line. Oh, hits one of two. I think the. Uh, Oh, come on, guys. Are we serious here? Are we serious? How many times are we going to let the same guy do the same thing? Let's go. That's just basically the length of the floor. LaRavia, it's like, hey, they're not going to stop me. I'm going to the basket. 33-46. Wake Forest. One minute, 17 seconds left in the first half. Carolina's going to have to figure some things out. Uh, it's one of those games, uh, again, I I can't remember one this year where so much of this going on, but last year there was a game where Carolina was just letting the same, you know, this team just dribble to the basket. Just get to the rim, man. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Basically got the starters back in here. Love. Pulls up. The shooter three. He hits this one. You just gonna have to deal with. We just gonna have to deal with love. That hey, he knows one thing. Play ball. If I can't pass it, no pass. I'm gonna shoot this thing. All right, back down to ten point. A ten point lead. Carolina's just still hanging on. Here's to the spatially challenged. As Wake Forest has their little spurts. Looks like Carolina's getting out of it, and. Um, we have one or two people to, to, to at least score one uh, a basket. And we are still in it, even though we're down 10. Puffin Styles need to play more. Yeah, yeah. and look, Styles impressed me the last game. Even though Carolina uh, went down big to Miami, Styles impressed me last the last game. He definitely needs to get out there, Puff and Styles. Uh, we got that coach G. Tyler Nickel. Tyler Nickel is a great shooter. 6'7 from a from VA. Puts you in the mind of uh, Matt Harpering. Ooh. That played at Georgia Tech. Yep. Remember Matt? Tyler Nickel. Okay. Loves the ball hog <laughs> and plays for himself, period. I, look. He dribbles more than I wish he would dribble. Put it that way. And it looks like in man-to-man. -man, I mean, let me stop. I'm, let me talk about him later. Love, you got to hit there. You got to sit on the bench, bro. Come on, man. Maybe the shot clock was, was uh, going down on that one. Yeah. He, yeah. 19 seconds left. And a half. Wake Forest is going to take the last one. Love is on Williams. Screen set. Williams definitely don't want to give this ball up. 
shoots it. Misses that three. Carolina down 10, 1.7 seconds on the clock. For the first half that Alavis Williams has had, that's probably the first bad decision that he has made. Yeah, he held the ball too long. That's what's going to happen when you hold the ball and don't move it. Davis shoots a long shot. Good if it goes. All right. So at halftime, at halftime, uh, Wake Forest went on a few runs there uh, to, to stretch the lead on Carolina to 10. A uh, couple of things. That's going on. Carolina's going to have to go into halftime and uh, straighten out. Number one. But well, you know what? First of all, let's look at the uh, let's look at the facts. Let's look at the facts right here. First of all, all right, here are facts. <laughs> Statistics at halftime for Carolina Baycock, four points. But Baycock, I think, I don't know if he was in foul trouble, but uh, there in that last little, uh, what, three, four minutes of the game, Baycock wasn't in there. I think Coach saving him there for, uh, for a bit. Um, Manic, 13 points, our leading scorer. RJ Davis has six, Love has seven points, and off the bench. Garcia, McCoy, and Johnson all have two points. Rebounding, Baycott with seven, Manning with six. And we'll look at, we'll look at that, uh, the rest of the stats here in a minute, the team stats. For Wake Forest, leading scorers, wow. Wake Forest has three players in double figures. LaRavia, 18 points. Like, not just catching and shooting. LaRavia is doing everything. He's got one three-pointer. The only three he took. He's getting all the way to the basket. Handling the ball and getting to the basket. Uh, so 18 points for him. It'll be good to look at his uh, his uh, average stats. See what he usually does. Uh, Williams. 14 points. They're their main guy. 14 points. And then Williamson. Shooting a good outside shot. He has 10. He is 2 of 3 from the 3-point line. Williams is 2 of 4 from the 3-point line. And then off the bench, Marsh and Monsanto uh, have 2 points each. Team stats. Carolina's uh, field goal percentage is not good tonight. 30%. Uh, just a little bit better than it was last week at this time where Wake Forest shooting 51. Carolina's 4 of 14 from 3. Wake Forest is 5 of 13 from 3. So not, well, actually 10% difference right there. Free throws, Carolina 8 of 11, Wake Forest 9 of 12, so both teams in the 70 percentile right there. Rebounding, Carolina is out rebounding Wake Forest, but Wake Forest hit more baskets. Uh, so their rebounding offensively is definitely going to be less than Carolina's. There's your assists, there's your steals, the blocks, turnovers. Carolina has five to wait for us. Three turnovers, five turnovers, not bad for like a whole game right there. Carolina's going to have to definitely cut down on those uh, turnovers because that, who knows, that could have been four to six points. At least, let's, 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 if we got five turnovers, that means, that means we didn't get a shot at the basket five times. So let's give us give us four points, at least four points for that. You know what I'm saying? And right there, this lead is, is a six-point lead. 
uh, fouls. Carolina has 10, uh, Wake Forest 7, but the largest lead, Carolina did have the lead by 3 one time, but uh, Wake Forest's biggest lead has been 13. And those are the facts, ladies and gentlemen. So far in this game, last two games have been against uh, have been against good good talent, and I think someone said uh, earlier this year uh, one of one of one of my guys in here uh, it may have been Lewis that Carolina just you know we play good until we have to play a good team, and then we get play against good teams we just don't play very well uh, I, I I wanted to give us the benefit of the doubt but right now it just it looks that way so if we're gonna make any moves in the AC in, in ACC play we're gonna have to start playing up to the ability that these good teams play Miami uh, Wake Forest Duke you know, so. But the season is young. Season is young. Uh, and like uh, like Troy said, we are going to have to start playing some of those other guys, man. Uh, Styles, I mean, I, Styles impressed me the last game. Styles done. Definitely, I, I definitely want to see Styles. Puff Johnson, get him out there, bro. Get him out there. I mean, I, I don't even know. I don't even know how good Puff can shoot the ball outside. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how good Styles can shoot the ball outside. I ha I've seen Dunn shoot it a few. Uh, he hasn't been great from the outside, but you know, I guess get those guys some playing time. Score 36-46, 10 point lead by Wake Forest, Michael. Wow, not a good first half. Need major adjustments. This place is rocking tonight, coach. Uh, get a good second half. We're going to need it. Yeah, look. Like I said yesterday, was it yesterday or earlier today? The Joel Coliseum has got is like second to none. I mean, you know, after, after Cameron Indoor, the Joel Coliseum, man, they get live in there. Those students get live in there. Michael Smith is at the game, guys. Ruth. Why can't I watch the game? I'm on I'm on YouTube. Bro, I don't I don't know. So hey, sometimes you, you can you can find it. Uh but I I'll I'll scroll through and see if I can find the actual game on YouTube. But let, let's see. It's on um Sometimes they do show show the game on some channels on YouTube. All right, I haven't been able to find one tonight, but if I do, I'll put I'll, I'll put the link on here. Um, right, Lewis, Lewis, bad on the road. You're right about that. You're right, definitely right. Bad on the road. Let's see what we got here. Tell you where I'm watching it. All right, guys, we got the second half coming up. Coming up next.
Vince Williams slowing it down. They caught Missed the layup again. Those are usually easy for Baycott, and that one does drop. Williams, how about the handles and the finish on Londres Williams? Spins out of trouble. Up ahead, Williamson for the easy two. <clears throat> Manning for three. Rebound. Davis. Does not fall. He drives the baseline. Layup is good. Carolina needed that. Back to a 10 point lead. Man, Wake Forest is. A dang decent team. Start the second half. Caleb Love is on to Londis Williams. And they move Leaky Black over to Jake Laravia. Laravia has been playing a heck of a game. Musius, extra steps, travel. Musius travels. And right here, again, that's just a great individual move. Inside out, hard dribble. And then transition off of the turnover. Heads up play by Those the are the three, three guys. That is Wake three guys doing the damage right there for Wake Forest. In this game. Williams, Williamson, and LaRavia. There is the actual score right there. 54-44. Go Baycott. And one. points off the turnovers <clears throat> so that means it's, it's turnovers that have been happening like at the at in the backcourt turn the ball over at the top of the key and then uh you know the other team is just off to the races baycott hits the first of every free throw Baycott hits both. Carolina's got this down. Down to an eight-point lead. Nice ball moving by Wake Forest. And Williamson is shooting a good ball today. Three-point shot from the corner right there. 46 Oh man, Baycott can't handle it right now. Spin move. Williamson. If 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 Williamson isn't scoring, then it's uh, Williams. If Williams isn't scoring, then it's Laravia. Davis scores again. And they are outletting that ball quick is Wake Forest. They're not taking any they're not taking their foot off the gas. There's a foul. Heard that all over in the uh Coliseum. Our boy Smitty says he's down, he's on the lower level right behind Carolina. Got to play some defense. Go ahead and move the ball now, Love. There's nothing there. Move it. Here we go. Davis with the ball. Gets it to Manic. Manic has Williams on him. Shoots over him. Nice shot, Manic. Nine-point lead again. Carolina, hey, just keep, just keep working, baby. Like you said, Smitty, got to play that defense. 
LaRavia swings that over to Williamson. He drives the lane, jump stop, Manic deflects it. Davis with the ball. Go strong, Davis. Oh, offensive foul. That's an offensive foul. He threw the elbow. Didn't need to. Threw the elbow. Didn't need to. Hey, man, just let it. Don't let it be one of those games where everything they do goes against them. <laughs> All right, got another timeout on the floor. Carolina trying to stay in there. This score right here is not quite right. Let's go click it up. There we go. 50 to 59. Uh, Davis just got a steal, but got called for an offensive foul there. Uh, going to the basket didn't uh, didn't need to uh, didn't need to push off like that. But uh, like Smitty said, it's got to be the defense. Got to be the defense. We cannot we cannot focus on our offense. That's going to come. Turn Wake Forest over. Wake Forest is feeling it. Wake Forest is going to shoot the ball. If they miss it, get the rebound. And let's go. Let's push it. Because Wake Forest is not taking any time. As soon if Carolina scores, Wake Forest is taking that ball out quickly and getting it up the floor. Like one, it's always a long pass. Ain't no dribbling. They're getting it up the floor, taking advantage of what's there. And if it's not there, then they're setting up running their offense. Maybe Carolina can take a take a little notice out of that and, and do a a couple of those and maybe maybe Wake Forest won't be ready for that. A lot of teams aren't, believe it or not, ready for uh, an offense that is similar to theirs. But anyway. Uh, leading scorers on the floor right now. Manic, 15. Baycock has 10. Davis has 10. Uh, they are, they're frustrating Baycock a little, Baycock a little bit down there. He's not getting anything clean. Uh, but that's, that's what he's going to have to contend with the rest of the year, guarantee. Love does have nine points for Wake Forest. LaRavia, the, their big three. <laughs> LaRavia. 18 Williams 18 William Williams son 19 he is actually three or four from the three-point line Williams is two or four he's doing the rest of his damage going to the rim going to the basket I'm trying to remember a short jumper that Williams has taken and I maybe one all right I remember the first three-pointer he sunk but everything else has been getting to the to the basket, getting to the basket. So yeah, like like Smitty said, we got we got to clamp down on defense, man. You know, cut those lanes down. Yeah, I know Troy. Please put, <laughs> please put Styles and Caleb and and Caleb can't check his. You know what? I remember at the beginning of the year when. Um, when they said David Davis was telling Love that Love could be an offensive force in the ACC, he you know he basically is, but he's got to play some defense. Coach said he wanted him to be a great defensive player. If he you know don't even worry about offense, worry about clamp down on defense, and the offense will be there. He'll be a better he'll be an all around player right there. And that's and they got him on Williams. And Leaky Black is on. Okay, well I, I I sort of understand that. Man, he Moravia is doing us, bro. But what can you, what can you do about the hook that hook shot? Love with the ball gets it down to Manic. Manic has Laravia on him. He shoots his version of the hook shot. Goes awry. Now LaRavia brings it down. He's got Leaky Black on him this time. Oh. Monsanto stops short. We need to let him shoot. Love. I wish Love was an offensive threat. Baycock thinks about thinking about shooting it. Move the ball. Trying to get it down to Baycock. Looking for him. Somebody else move. Let's go, bro. 
Let's go. We can't force it there. Man, it gets fouled on the play. Let's go, baby. Don't let that ball stick. Move it. We can always we'll, hey, move it, and we can get it to him on the other side, maybe. Haycock shoots a little jumper off the mark. Moravia thought about taking off, but he slows it down. Waiting for his teammates. He's got Leaky Black on him. And Leaky Black is called for the reach. I don't think anybody on their coaches on our coaching staff sees that though. To tell them to go to make make Laravia go to the left. And maybe that'll help out a little bit. Now they switch off. They got uh, Love on Laravia. He wants to back him down. Balls back out to Williamson. He drives left side, swings that. San Monsantos. Now back up top to Williamson. They want to get it. Oh, step back three is off the mark. Rebound. Love. Right side of the court. Gets that to Manic going down the lane. He's fouled. There you go. Push the ball a little bit when we can. North Carolina loves the play in the fast break. Loves the push to the pace. But tonight, they failed to be successful. Yeah. Zero points in a fast break compared yeah, to the first 22. That was, that was effective right there. So when we get a chance to push it, go ahead and push it. It's an 11 point lead. Manic closes that to 10. Carolina's hanging around to that 10 point, that 10 point mark. They got it down to eight there uh, earlier in the second half. <laughs> Manic hits both. Back down to a nine point lead. Carolina D up right here. Can Carolina D up right here and get this ball back? You go score Laravia. Gets it to the young number 11. Can't remember that kid's name. He shoots it. He's fouled on the play by Davis. Number 11. What's this kid's name? Witt. Yeah, Witt. That's the kid that uh, came out of high school early last year or year before last. Might have been year before last. He's on the free throw line. Off the mark. Right? And regardless of whether whether we basically stop him on defense or if he misses this free throw, it's a stop. Get this rebound. He hits the second. Manic takes it out. Let's go. Get it up the court. Turn around, Love. Love being guarded by Williams. They swing it to Leaky Black at the top. Love shoots a three off the mark. Rebound by Monsantos. Now Williams with the ball. Gets that to Monsantos. He wants to shoot it. He does shoot it. And maybe he's a shooter. That's why he shoots it. He finally hit one. Let's say Carolina gets close and then, oh, another turnover. Oh, nearly, nearly a turnover. Manis gets it back. Boy. Yeah, co uh, referee, bad call. He uh, rectified it, though. Yeah, Baycott couldn't squeeze that one. Yeah, he would have brought the rim down there on that rebound. He's trying to build confidence. He yeah, knew right, he uh, yeah. couldn't play the <laughs> right, right, uh, Troy. My bad. I, I'd seen that uh, a lot. Didn't uh, hadn't seen uh, your uh, comment. Yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. Love off the mark again. Revia. Motion that a three got that to Monsantos. He shoots another three and it's good. Hey, that's what he does. 
few minutes ago I said let him shoot it, but you know, because he wasn't hitting, but he was still jacking him up. Leaky Black shoots the three. Leaky Black off the mark. Rebound again. Another rebound by uh, Wake Forest. And the lead balloons. Don't you shoot that again. Don't you make that again. Oh my gosh. Can we get a timeout? All right, Mon Monsanto's, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Stop shooting now. And Wake Forest, just like Miami, has almost doubled the score on Carolina. 52-71 right now. Three-point shooting. Three-point shooting is putting Carolina a hold. Now they got a, uh, they got a deep one. To try to get out of this one. We're going to need ropes and hooks and, and all kinds of stuff to get out of this one. Bro. Hey, if, if, if we could, if we could have Tyler Nickel out there right now for, for a shooter, boy, that's, we need somebody because. We're not, able, we're not able to get clean looks under the basket. And when we do get a clean look outside, the shot's really not falling. So, And I don't care what level you're on. High school, college, professional. My bad, guys. I like, I like what the score was looking like there a few minutes ago. But here's the actual score. Um, yeah, this is not good. Uh, I don't care what level you're in. If your offense is not clicking, then your defense just does not play well. It, it's it's all a mental thing too. It, it's all a mental thing. If you if your offense is not clicking, you're not scoring. You just get down. You get down defensively. You know, plus, I guarantee the scouting report did not include Monsanto's <laughs> shooting lights out from three. But he came, he came on, he came on the floor pulling three point shots. He wasn't hitting them, but uh, he was pulling them. So I was like, I was like, man, why is he shooting threes? And the coach is not pulling them out. Well, right there answers my question. He is a probably a three point shooter. He can hit them. He is now three of seven to, to let you know how many how many three point shots he's taken, uh, and he's hit his last his first three here in the second half. The three we just saw were the first three three point shots he's hit. So now this young man has eleven points. So now Wake Forest has one, two, three, four guys in double figures. All right. But, ladies and gentlemen, one good thing for Carolina is there's still 11 minutes on the clock. Basically, darn, darn near 12 minutes on the clock. The game is not over yet. The game is not over yet. Got to keep playing. You never know what could happen. Just like Monsanto's got hot right there. Somebody for Carolina can get hot. Somebody else for Carolina can warm up. Yeah, I knew he. He's probably a good shooter, but he and La, uh, La, Laravia are having out of out of body experiences right now. Okay, you got to get out on the second one. And the third, you have to chase him off the three-point line. Davis, scoop shot, points. does not go in. Rebound, Wake Forest, number 20, that's C. They have not done that. And, and Witt brings it down behind the back dribble, gets that to Musius. Swing that back to Witt, looking for Laravia down low, can't get it to him. Now he does, outside three-point line, is deflected out of bounds by Love. 
Thank you all 10 people that's in here. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Another timeout. Gonna have to get on that recruiting trail, coach. <laughs> Gonna have to get on that recruiting trail. Got to get another stud in here. I'm telling you, bro. I like, I, again, these guys are athletes. I, I like our guys, Davis. I, I like the way Davis works hard. His his body language never never gets down. He works hard the whole time. Uh, Love is a is a good athlete. I, I don't know. It, to me, it just looks like his body language sometimes when things aren't going his way. Uh, gets down a little bit and I think he's trying to overcome that uh, and these are just our guards but yeah hey get Styles out there you know get done a little bit more playing time puff get them out there coach let them play I, I know it's kind of I, I, I've been in the situation before it's kind of hard to trust those guys because you're so used to the you know your your starting guards being out there playing, but um, you know, at some at some point, you got to put them out there and say, "Hey, hey, get some experience, young guy." You know, see see what they can do. I know you can't you can't put the whole bench out there, but get those guys out there, give them some playing time. So you're right, definitely right there, Troy. Um, bro, Wake Forest having a good outside outside shooting game. We we are we are not we not really we're not really filling it up from outside. Uh, as I was saying, man, I you know recruit that shooter, Tyler Nickel, whoever recruit that recruit that shooter. You know, and I bet you there's some out there that people just don't you know just like oh he's not in the top. Not in the top 50 or whatever. Man, shoot. If you can shoot the ball, we we need you. Consistent shooting. Just knock it, knock down shooters. All right. Uh, Carolina still 31% from the field. Wake Forest has moved up. These guys are shooting 59, nearly 60% from the field. Carolina still 4 of 18 from the three-point line. And Wake Forest 9 of 18. They're hitting 50% of their three-point shots right now. Um, free throws, Carolina is uh, ahead on that one. But largest lead, 19 points. Turnover seven. But again, still 11 minutes on the clock. Uh, again, another one of these situations where Carolina's just going to have to, you know, just keep working their way. Keep working their way back into this game, you know. Get something positive out of it. All right, so Carolina does get a score out of that one with 10 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Whit brings the ball down, being guarded by Davis. 52-71, 54-71. Actually, Carolina do defensively to try and disrupt them. Sometimes it just comes well, down to just individual efforts. Ah, you can't give them open threes. That's that's one of the things. Of defending the three point line, they catch a break. That's a clean look for a guy that has been hot in this game. Puff Johnson getting a little bit more playing time. Love still out there. Another turnover, and this is the type of turnover we're talking about right here. The ones where you turn over at the top of the key. And there's no defense and just an easy layup. They get points. That's where we turn it over. Up in the guard area. Our, our backcourt. We turn it over there and it's... Way to, way to keep working, Dave. I mean, they, we turn it over up there and there's no defense for that. That's why uh, they came up with that. They had that statistic there. 
Man, Ravia is, whew, Ravia is doing it, man. Everybody on their bench should have ran out there and helped that man up. And yet another timeout. Yeah, those are turnovers you can't give up, bro. Yeah, too much. I mean, you know. Don't over dribble. Don't dribble into a, 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 a double team and turn the ball over. He needs. Needs to go over his seat. Hey, look, I don't care where he goes. Go get a shooter. Go with, get one of them tall, them tall shooters. I don't care if I don't care if you're short. If you can put it in the basket, if you're a pure shooter. Find a pure shooter. Find a couple of pure shooters. I know they don't want to give these guys scholarships and things. You know, they were to give them to the all-around athletes. Man, get get us some shooters in here. Davis has no clue what what he's doing. Prince, ah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that, man. Like you know, still gotta. You still gotta. You still gotta execute. Regardless, you gotta execute. You know what I'm saying? Like what? What? What could coach do about that right there? You still gotta execute, bro. I wonder what the guys are talking about there. You know, just like I, 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 somebody here says, uh, "Listen, my my bad, go overseas for re recruits on threes." Yeah, uh, Roy need Roy back. I never believe in that five star crap. If you can play, exactly, Troy. If you can play, you can play. Ball out, bro. If you can ball, you can ball. I like I said, I don't care what you, you know, who you are. If you're a good shooter, you're a good shooter. If you can if you can score, you can score. Recruit all around, baby. Recruit somebody that, that plays defense. I know we don't we don't you know people don't want to give up scholarships for guys who are just great defense players, but sometimes you need them. And you can develop them those guys in the offensive players like Leaky Black. You know, Leaky Black don't shoot the ball. There's an example right there. He just out there for defensive purposes. Sure, you're right. Hubert needs to go overseas. Uh, at least two home home games coming up. Boston College, no kind of state. Lost another one. Davis with the ball at the top of the keys on the right side. Drives, kicks that back out to Garcia. Pub Johnson for three, misses that one. 56-77. Long skip pass down court. Williamson filling it. Has it stripped, gets it to Davis. Still eight minutes on the clock, guys. Step back three for Davis. Ooh, nice. Just keep playing. Just win or lose. Just work your way back in this game. Don't give up. Walton on the on the court. A little trap at the top, and a foul is called. That was called on Pub Johnson, I think it was. Fifty-nine seventy-seven. Oh, skip pass! You can't hit that. Rebound, Baycock. There's a score: fifty-nine seventy-seven. Davis loses it, but he's fouled on the play. And I think this is a commercial timeout. It's the media timeout on the floor. 59-77 is the score. Wake Forest having their way right now.
but there's still time for Carolina to just, just you know, got to play some defense, got to stop them on defense. Let's uh, let's hope that um, Wake Forest sort of like gets lackadaisical. Wake Forest gets a little lackadaisical. Carolina keeps playing defense and just win or lose, just just keep working and work your way back into this. Make this score look respectable. Uh, and keep learning because no matter what, no matter what, the season is not over. You got to keep playing. You know what I'm saying? You, we got to let this go, but learn something from it and then gain something from it by continuing to play because we are who we are and we're playing with who we're playing with. But like Troy said, maybe get some of them young guys in there. I'm glad to see Puff getting a little playing time. Nah, Prince got to give him time. Yeah, Prince got to give him time and let him get the players. He, exactly. Hey, you know, let him let him do some recruiting. What he got right now, a bunch of that, that's that's Roy, that's Roy Williams. That's what he inherited. So let's see what let's see what coach can bring in there before we uh before we dismiss him. As far as knowing the game, at knowing the game, coach, Coach Davis knows the game now. He knows the game, so. Give him, a, give him, give him some time. Get his boys in there. Hey, <laughs> but Carolina get you on out of there if you ain't doing your job, boy. Look, Brad Darty went through there. They got Brad out of there quick. I think Brad was like, man, I. Brad took himself out of there. He was like, man, I can't, I can't do this no more. Let's see, Dean Guthridge, uh, I think it was Brad. Brad stayed for a while. Uh, am I missing somebody after 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 uh, after Brad? They ain't bring in Roy right after that. And Roy was there, good long tenure. And then Roy basically, you asked, you asked me, I don't know the, the deal, but if you asked me, I think Roy was like, look, these boys, you know, they we we're in a different level. You know, we're a different space, and um, I'd rather see us be successful. And if that means I need to leave for the team to be successful, I'm going to go ahead and get out. That's what I think Roy did. I don't think, I don't think Roy was really ready to leave, man. He definitely got role players. <laughs> that he helped recruit. <laughs> Alright, Baycock. Time for you to go off now. This 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 uh tail end of the game. Sixty to seventy seven. So much easier for the other guys to get open look. Davis hits both. Love comes back on the on the uh yeah Matt Doherty. Double doubles for him. Carolina a little full court pressure. On the offensive end. North Carolina has 18 offensive rebounds. Boy, wait for a swing in that ball. Air ball. And it is to some degree, but it also tells you they And we'll say that was Russ. Got that defense. Go ahead and move the ball now. Garcia with the ball. Shoots a hard shot. Oh, misses it. Oh man, we needed that one. Stop the ball now. Moravia. Skip pass over to Musius. Musius loses it. Ah. Baycott with the ball. Gets that love, love. Give it up, baby. Give it up, give it up, give it up, love. Walton thought about it. Back to love. Where you at, Davis? Oh, Davis ain't in there. Baycott. There you go, baby. Get it down to Baycott. 63-77-658 left. Carolina put a little bit of pressure. Foul call. Don't know about that one. I give you the benefit of the doubt, ref, since you're a ref. Yeah, Kessler did it. Mama, Mama, uh, Mama Toy retired. 
Hey. And Kessler, Kessler's doing his thing. I forgot where he where he uh, uh, transferred to. Kessler made Roy retire. Hey. At that, listen, and that, you, you're probably you're probably right, because like I said, Roy was like, look, if these guys, if if, if me being here is going to cause us to lose, like losing players and stuff like that, I'm gonna go ahead and, and retire. Love to the basket, misses a layup. Man, those are the ones we need, bro. Those are the ones we need. My bad, guys. Here's the actual score. Let's go update 63. Actually, it's 63.79 right now. Six minutes and 47 seconds left. LaRavia, this has got to be his high score, bro. Um, yeah, and uh, Kessler is doing well. I forgot where he where he transferred to, but I checked him out, man. He's a uh, man. How much would he have helped us this year? He would have helped us. Big seven footer that can run the floor. Put him out there with with Baycott. And they found uh, Garcia, and Garcia is is uh, similar to Kessler, but Ooh, love. Let's go. We gotta have the numbers. Gotta have the numbers. Let's go, Davis. Hit that one. Oh my gosh. We just we just can't just can't buy the baskets. All right, defense moving around a little bit, getting those guys moving around. Got to make it helter skelter right now. But we we're missing some of those shots that uh, we need. We need, man. <laughs> we only have two. Fast break points. 63-81. Still six minutes and 20 seconds left in this one. He had 19-75 today versus Kentucky. Yeah. Auburn. Manic swings it to Love. They hand it to Davis. Davis behind the back. Get back to Love. Love. Skip pass. Another turnover by Love. Williams goes between the legs. Crosses over. Scoop. Shot is off the mark. Did they call a foul? Hey, he playing. He playing so good for Wake Forest. I'm wondering if he's gonna uh, decide. You know what? Time for me to go this year. Put my name in. Enter my name into the draft. Laravia gets one of two. 82-63. Davis brings the ball down. Screen from Baycott. Manic shoots a three. And he hits that one. 66-82. Carolinas get it down to 10 before the end of the game. How about that? Laravia throws it up and gets the foul call. Wow. Did you guys know about La uh, LaRavia? Good Lord. Oh my gosh. Our score is going out of the game. Our high score is going out of the game. Briette Smitty, they're showing the, they're showing the, uh, the backup. They're showing uh, behind Carolina's bench. 
defensively, uh, Tokyo and Garcia have struggled. And whoever in North Carolina has put uh, at uh, Jake Arabia, uh, they really struggled. Uh, to Ray, what's up? Man, what's going so, on? Two back-to-back -back blowouts in a row. I know I didn't stop watching my 49ers to, to play for this. Man, they, listen, they just came out uh, and some of the unsung heroes for uh, Wake Forest, like Arabia. Who is this guy, bro? Baycott drives from the free throw line. He's fouled on the play. Couldn't finish the, the layup, though. Still five minutes and 17 seconds left. 66 to 84. Wake Forest. He's missed a lot of opportunities around the basket. Right there, that's going to be a man for him. Just unable to convert. And some of these layups around the basket are going to break the whole team, but in particular, uh, Armando Beta. Armando misses the first of two. Hey, Niners ain't winning. Baycott misses both of them. Stop the ball now. He's going to go to the basket. Oh, my gosh, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Alondas Williams having a, having a game. Come on, Riff. <laughs> oh boy. Man. All right. We throw it in. He's going to. Wake Forest is playing very loose right now. 20 point game with 4 minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. Carolina did tighten up their defense there about midway uh, in the second half, but Wake Forest. Close to a sellout, and they lose that game. Are you serious? Man, that's, this, see, this is one of those games that just whatever you do works. <laughs> when, that, when that's happening, the other team don't have a chance. That was close, too. Ooh, that was a bad call, rep, or whatever. And the, and the people were just seeing it on the on the screen. That's what the, the noise is all about, guaranteed. Three-point shot. Williams with the high rebound. They don't stop the ball. He's going to the basket. But he kicks it back out to uh, Masato. Step back three. Off the mark, rebound, Davis. Davis turns down the screen, throws it up. Davis still playing hard. And for the most part, I mean, the guys for Carolina still playing hard uh, offensively, if not defensively. But yeah, I mean, right, you, you know. Anytime something goes wrong and it's bad like this, they always gonna bl blame the head coach. I don't know, man. Give him a give him a chance, man. You know, give him a chance. Cause you still gotta go out there and execute. You have still gotta go out there and execute. Yeah, and you know, and, and you know, coaches. Uh, 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 like I said, Davis knows the game, and I'm not just saying it because it's because it's Davis. He knows the game. He knows what the weaknesses are. If you turn the ball over, like what do they say, like we've given up what, 40 some points in the last two, 50 some, 40, 50 some points in the last two games off turnovers. You know, coaches. Uh, he's uh, talking about that to the guys. You know, you just you can't turn the ball over. You can't. I mean, not where we turn it over, too. Bavia turns down the three, gets it down to the big man. He's fouled on the play. 
by a couple of young guys Coach finally puts into the game at the end of the game. And if, if there's anything I have against them is, is I play, playing those three guys right there uh, earlier in the game. Pub Johnson got out there, you know. If you if you don't trust the guys out more than one out there at a the time, then you know you can put Puff out there for somebody, then switch Puff because all those guys play basically the same position. You take Puff out, then put Dunn in there. You're gonna take Dunn out, then put Styles out there. Let Styles get some playing time. If you don't trust them all out there at the same time, I could I could roll with that. But yeah, give Coach give Coach a, a, a chance. You know. I, I say give him a good four years. Give him a good four years, and then after that, you know, and then we might look elsewhere. But give him a, give my man a chance, because the guys have got to go out there and execute. Like, uh, let's take a look at this. All right, uh, I do hear overrating chance, overrated chance, yeah, like. We're a ranked team, <laughs> right? Right. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, right here. What what's the free What is the free throws looking like now? Is that coach too? You got to go out there and, and uh, you got to hit your free throws. See how many free throws we've missed or made. Got a little time out here, guys. All right, uh, six three pointers. We shot twenty four. Wait for us is hit nine free throws. Free throws, 15 to 21. See, when you're down like this, you got to hit all your free throws. But wait for us, it's 19 to 26. I mean, a lot of people look at that and say, well, you know, hey, bro, six free throws, we missed those. That's not going to change the game. Well, it does change the game a little bit now. It does change the game a little bit. Uh, turnovers 11 but how many points off turnovers has uh, Wake Forest gotten you know what I'm saying most of our turnovers have been in the front court right the front court back court uh, by mishandling or bad passes from the guards and there's no defense there's no defense so it those turnovers turn into points so how many points off turnovers has Wake Forest had tonight we've had 11 if we had 11 let's say they've got they scored off half of those that's that's 10 points right there 10 easy baskets Another basket by Williams. Garcia gets that down to uh, McCoy. He scores three minutes and 11 seconds left on the clock. Coach uh, Williams, excuse me, Coach Davis is taking out a lot of the starters. We got Dunn, McCoy, Garcia, Walton, and Styles on the court. Heck, all the starters are up. They get it down to Garcia. Garcia. Oh, what kind of shot was that, Garcia? But he gets his own rebound, puts it in. 
Got to stop the ball, guys. He's going to go to the basket. Let's go. Moore throwing elbows. And finally a foul is called. What do you guys think, man? What, what, what do you think is going wrong? What's the overall consensus, fellas? Coach, coach was Garrison Brooks better than Brady Manning? Could he could have been a difference? Hey, yeah, I, I think Garrison could have been a, a difference, but I just wonder what happened to Garrison from that, uh, what was it, his junior year to his senior year. Uh, and was it bringing in those freshmen? I don't know. Where he had to play a little bit differently because he was coming back his senior year as the uh, player of the ACC Player of the Year and just didn't live up to it. I don't know what it was, bro. but heck, heck yeah, he could have helped. Definitely, definitely a seasoned veteran player on this team. And was he better than Manny? Listen, uh, I think he could have. I think he could have affected our game the way we play better than Manic does. Manic is an outside shooter. I mean, you know, I, when he when I first saw him, I was like, okay, we got another big. But Manic is really not a. He's a big, but he he's a just basically another. He's a power forward. He plays down low. I mean, he play he plays out on the perimeter. So, and you know, I don't know if you guys know about me. I love big guys that can score. Uh, so, yeah, having Garrison Brooks out there with, with the with the uh, Baycott we have now, yeah, I think I think Brooks would have helped us a whole lot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, McCoy, I didn't know you could climb the ladder like that. He would have brought that senior leadership, yep, since I was uh, – a little kid, no other team. Did we just become best friends? More. Marsh with the dunk. Thanks, so, man. Do you? Sometimes I wish I could root for other team. Sometimes I wish I could root for other uh, root for other teams, but I don't have it in my blood. Me either, man. I used to think like that when I was when I was young, but you just. But when I was young, Carolina just didn't have down years like this. If they if they would have a down year, the next year they'd be right back on top. So, I it's almost like I can't I can't relate to what we've been going through here the last few years. But uh, yeah, I I just stopped watching college basketball. Before I cheer for another team. I mean, before I become a fan of another team. I can cheer for another team in certain situations. If you're an underdog, you're not Carolina, and you're playing, yeah. You know. And I don't even know if it's cheering. Just uh, just like to watch good basketball. Kern Walton, he shoots a three. Still off the mark. Garcia. He's fouled on the play, misses the layup, though. 53 seconds on the clock. This is academic. Uh, never questioned with me. I had a, I had a mom who was a diehard Pistons fan. My bro was Bulls, Celtics. We all watched games in separate rooms. Wow. Well, at least you have, at least you have people that, that love sports, man. I grew up with nobody in my family likes sports but me. Nobody, and I have, I have seven brothers and sisters. I have seven brothers and sisters, and nobody in my family like really looked at sports like I did. Now my little brother, my younger brother. Oh my gosh! Come on, guys, we can't get that. Watch these guys score. I give it back to Miles. They want to get they want to get it to him though. Get open, Miles. They'll get it to you. They want to find Miles. Get open, Miles. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, I I remember 
times when I when I was at home, nobody watched sports but me. My little brother, he he's an athlete. He plays sports. I don't know how much he watched, but uh, nah, nobody really had a nobody really had team a team to cheer for at my home but me. And this one is over. 76 90. We'll check it out right here. 76 98 is the score. Carolina comes up short. The Joel Coliseum is rocking. My boy Smitty is there. The uh, students are rushing the floor like they beat a ranked team. But they're rushing the floor because they hadn't. They, yeah, they. Most points scored against North Carolina since uh, 2003. Man, I was a young, handsome whippersnapper in 2003, and that's the last time they scored this many points. Hey, Wake Forest is 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 a is a team, man. They they're a team to beat. They are a team to beat. And with this, even though we're not, we're not a great Carolina team, this right here is gonna. Uh, this right here is going to make this Wake Forest team even better mentally because they beat Carolina. For now, Phil Hockabee, our terrific ACC Network crew, I'm Jay Alder saying so long, let's get nothing but net started right now. Hey, Smitty, you better not be on the floor. What a I'll be on the floor cheering for those guys. For Miami and Florida State, just Troy, no leadership defensively. Defensively, got to be better as well. My brother was uh was whatever LeBron goes fan. Yeah, and I hate it. Uh, now he's with the Lakers. Now nah, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Uh, as far as the NBA goes, I couldn't. Uh, I, I was I never had like a team. Uh, I did follow the Bulls when uh, Jordan left Carolina and went to the Bulls. I followed the Bulls. You know, I was like, okay, you know, I want the Bulls to win just because Jordan was there. But I was never like a fan. You know what I'm saying? I just like to watch, watch Michael Jordan uh, uh, play. I never, I was never a big NBA watcher. I knew. The different teams, I knew the players, but I, you know, it, I will, I could do with it or without it, until Jordan started playing. That's when I started watching, and then I, I, right after Jordan, I really started following guys that left Carolina and went to different teams, and that's where I started really watching uh, the NBA. And hey, I was in college then. I was in college. I remember the the, I remember the iconic play when when Jordan. When Jordan came down uh, and rocked the cradle, rocked the cradle for the first time in in, in college, I was at North Carolina A and T, and when he did that, boy, like everybody, like the whole dorm just went crazy. Everybody was running out in the hall, like, man, did you see that? But anyway, after we left and went to the Bulls, I started watching the Bulls. I can't say that I was a a Bulls uh, fan. But then when when the Hornets got their team, when North Carolina got a team, I was like, that that's it. That's my team. I got to watch these guys even when we weren't winning nothing. Uh, I've always been a, a Hornets fan, so I can say that. I, I was a Hornets fan. Never really an NBA fan until really until the Hornets, until Michael Jordan and the Hornets uh, got their team. And then ironically, Michael Jordan owns the Hornets. But anyway. Yeah, rushing the floor. <laughs> you can't tell. You can tell they never won. So that's you know, I, I I'm happy for Wake Forest. I wish Danny Manning was still was still the man, so he could so he could reap the benefits of uh, bringing the team from where he, where they are. But you know, I also give credit to the their coach they got now. Uh, Uh, I have a twirly bird towel because 
He dragged me to Cleveland to see them in a playoff versus the Wizards. G Daddy, did you did you catch my earlier message about Tar Heels gear? Saying, let's see, where you at, saying? You got a twirly bird towel saying. Her question. No, I didn't say. What, what, what's up with that? I didn't see that earlier message about uh, Tar Heels gear saying, what was, what was young LeBron against Arenas? Oof. Oh, yeah, it was years ago. Hornets are balling. Mike Smitty, embarrassing Heels. Fans leaving the Joel. Uh, we beat Boston College next game at home. Yeah, yes, me. That hey, that we got to, man. We got we got to make up for it. We got to. They've got to come out. Our Tar Heels got to come out ready to play. And uh, let's 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 get this next one. Get this next win. That's all we can do. And then try to build from there. Cause like I said earlier, the season's not over with. Got to keep playing. Got to keep playing. We can't just we can't give up right now. We can't tank it in. Throwing the towel, saying we lost the two, we lost the two good teams. The only bad thing about it was it they were they were blowouts. That's the bad thing about it. They were blowouts, you know. But but uh, we 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 got to keep playing. The season is not over. And I'm gonna take a look after I get off here in a few minutes to see if we play them again. So they have, if they have to come to uh, to uh, to the Dean Smith Center, you know, she's got to be ready to take them out there. We have to ask if you have a favorite piece of gear. Uh, I have I have uh, two I have two shirts I have two Carolina uh, shirts. That are my favorite pieces of gear, and I, I like the uh, Carolina blue one, cotton T-shirt, the best. You saw they they didn't have the energy. They didn't come out and play defense like they should. I've had I've had different uh, paraphernalia throughout the years, and you know people have taken them stuff like that, and I've, I've misplaced them. But yeah, for right now, I just got a couple of a uh, couple of Carolina things. I got another I got another beanie hat too. I like pretty good. They still, you know, they had 20 But yeah, t-shirts for me are the are the best. Uh my uh, my daughter got me a a a, 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 a Hornets shirt that uh, I'm going to I think I'm going to uh, stream the Hornets game. I do a little commentary, play by play on the Hornets game tomorrow night and I'm going to wear that shirt. It's a nice it's a nice black shirt. You know, makes my muscles look good in it. <laughs> but no, it's it's a nice shirt. I think I'm going to sport that. You have to Tomorrow night. Defense. We have these caliber of athletes, the Carolina Ducks. There's pros. Gotta go. All right, all right, Ray. Take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping by. Y'all hit that like button. You can't have blowouts back to back like this. We talked about. It. Do we remember getting blown out like that? Maybe once it happens. Back to back games to that caliber is unacceptable, most especially for North Carolina fans. Booze, what needs to be happening in that locker room right now? We got we got uh, Carlos yeah, Boozer weird. talking about what Carolina thing. should be doing. A week ago, we were saying it's one of the hottest teams in college basketball. It needs to be ranked. We're talking about Baycott being a potential ACC Player of the Year. Then they come back and they have two blowout games really this week in Miami and and obviously tonight against Wake Forest. They're really inconsistent. That's the one thing that we we've, we've harped on with Carolina. They have all the talent in the world to be a contender, or someone that could be a tough outcome March Madness. But they're inconsistent, and to me, it's more defensively than offensively. You know, to get back to what Joel said, Joel played there. He knows the environment, the culture there. Their defense is lackadaisical at times, and and obviously, Wake Forest took advantage of that. 
If I'm in that locker room, I'm going crazy. We just got embarrassed two games in a row. Uh, you guys, obviously, will show the, our listeners and our viewers an interview a little bit later on with Baycott. But the bottom line is somebody has to step up in that locker room and take control, take the reins. It can't be the coach because he's not out there playing with you. It's got to be It's got to be a player's. Sometimes this one guy, like on my team, when I was at Duke, we had Shane Batty. He was the ultimate leader. did everything you asked him to do. He was a guy that did it by action. And then also talk later, but his actions. I'm just listening to, uh, to accomplish it. He was our leader. Listen and to Carlos Boozer. Collectively. Sometimes it's a group of guys, but somebody had to take ownership that's wearing a jersey for that team. And you're right, Booz. We heard from Armando Baycott this week talking about needing some more leadership. Dang, they still on the floor going more, off. Um, oh. Fans leading the oh. charge out there at Wake Forest because look, you take down North Carolina. This is a big game. They're still on the floor going crazy, crazy out there at the Joe. What a dance off! Do we like it? How do we feel? I like it. I tell you, man, like the Joe Coliseum. This isn't the most popular take, but the Joe Coliseum is like like after Cat Cameron is the Joe. No, you stormed the court if you felt like your program represented properly. It was an important win. Heaven forbid we have a lot of fun in a sport. I love this. Go out there, storm, do whatever you want, go crazy. Wait deserves this because they're ahead of schedule. Sub and like four right now, and they are six. I have and two three windbreakers. And uh, next up for them. Style Golf jackets. We will see I'll what try to send you a pick them. Hey, I appreciate that, Zane. Okay. And thanks for the sub, yeah. man. I thought I had my uh, oh, my my sub widget going on here. I didn't see it go off. So, Take a look at what I'm going to do it for you. So every time somebody subs, somebody subs, I'm supposed to get this right here. I didn't see it pop up. Maybe it'll pop up later. Or maybe I don't have my widget on right. But yeah, appreciate it, man. Maybe I got to check. Maybe, maybe I've got it. Okay, I think I know what the deal is. Nah. Okay. But um Hey guys. Thank you for everyone everyone being here. Again, thanks Zane. Uh, How about the meeting for the second time this season? It was a great time last time. Zane T C R here. Right there at the top entering today. So what would happen? I'm saying Saint. That's is that Saint? I gotta I gotta get your name right. Last time they met. Jim Larinaga trying to get his Saint Z are so here. Squad. Saints are here. Man, they came out to play early in this one. <laughs> Up big of the half Anthony Polite. I was saying Zane. Saints are here. Okay, Saint uh Saint. Appreciate it, bro. Same with the best, hey. Casey. Here's more from Polite. That's not very nice. Well, they felt super confident in Florida State because they probably had their best first half of the season. Oh, okay. That okay. That's, That's what it was. Defense. Well, yeah, man. Look, I appreciate it, guys. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Uh, keep a check on my uh, on my. My man got on Rick and Morty's. Miami still. Did Miami win, or did Florida State take them out? Big time player make big time plays. 46 seconds like to go. Like the movie The Saints. The yep. Steal on the other end. Sam Wardenberg throws it down. Yes, sir. at home. Miami within one. But with six seconds left, would it be enough or would they come back short just once again? Final Florida game. State. Long, tries to make it happen himself. Not the friendly bounce. Doesn't go in. Florida State wins, wins another. It was a close when they beat Miami. That's the two top, the top, uh, you know, some of the top guys right there. Florida State playing good ball. Yeah, guys. Hey, check out my thumbnails, guys, and uh, for my next next live, I'm probably going to uh, do Carol uh, uh, the, the Hornets tomorrow night. Uh, but I thank you guys for showing yeah, up tonight, fam. You, you be you be back. Better, yeah, oh, better, definitely, better. definitely. I'm definitely going to try to do all of Carolina's games. So, yeah, check me out then. And, guys, I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. And I'm getting ready to get out of here. Knock down the three offensively, but guess what they can all do? They can all defend. They switch pick and roll, so there's really no gap, no space there. Hard to, hard to get to the bucket against this team because they can protect at the rim. They do a good job of rebounding. They may not be like a jump.